I. I worry about winter in a place I've never been, about exiles in their homeland gathered around the fire, about the slavery of substance and gruel. Will there be enough to eat? Will there be enough to feed? And they dream of beaches and pies, hemispheres of soft fruit found only in the heat of the planet. Sugarcane seeks out tropics, dictates a resolution to stun the tongues of those who can afford to pay. Imported plums, bullets, black caviar, large as peas, smoked meats, the color of southern windshields. But we don't discuss in letters. You are out of work. Not many jobs today for high physicists in Estonia, you say. Poetry, though, is food for the soul. And bread? What is cake before corn and a potato? Before the encounter of animals, women, and wheat? Stocks high these days in survival products. 500 years later, tomato sized tumors bloom in the necks of the pickers. On my coast, Diablo dominates the golden hills, the fault lines. On ancestral land, Vandenberg shoots nuclear payloads to Quadrilene, a Pacific atoll, where 68% of all infants are born amphibians or anemones. But poetry is for the soul. I speak of spirit. The yellow seed in air, as light is the seed in water. And the poetry of improbability, the magic in the movement <coughs> of quarks and sunlight, the subtle basketry of hadrons and neutrinos of color, how what you do is what you get, bananas or worry. What is said, your friend, Chicana poet.